The world is changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. Much that once was is lost, for none now live who remember it. It began with the forging of the great books. Three were given to the faculty, immortal, wisest, and fairest of all beings. Five to the staff librarians, great thinkers and seekers of information on the campus beautiful. And nine, nine books were gifted to the students of Concord, who above all else desire power. For within these books was bound the strength and will to govern each race. But they were all of them deceived, for another book was made. In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master book to control all others. And into this book he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One book to rule them all. One by one, the free lands of Middle Athens fell to the power of the book. But there was one who resisted. A lone champion, the Wizard of Concord, marched against the armies of Mordor, and on the very steps of the Marsh Library, fought for the freedom of reading for Concord. Victory was near, but the power of the book could not be undone. It was in this moment, when all hope had faded, that the Wizard of Concord defeated Solomon, enemy of the free peoples of Middle-earth.